Since 1967, KB has dedicated itself to manufacturing the best competitive AC and DC motor drives. KB designs and builds over 200 off-the-shelf control models and over 2,000 custom controls to serve the fractional to 5 horsepower market. KB is the first manufacturer of variable frequency drives to apply the term hybrid to a segment of their AC driveline. The hybrid drive merges the digital technology of the microprocessor with easy-to-use analog interfaces. In simple terms, this means no complicated programming or commissioning is required. Today's video will discuss our KBAC series of hybrid drives. These AC drives have rugged die-cast aluminum NEMA 4X enclosures with hinged covers. They are ideal for harsh indoor or outdoor applications that may require washdown or watertight integrity. For this demonstration, the drive was pre-wired using liquid-tight connectors. The motor leads are connected to the U, V, and W terminals. The single-phase AC line input leads are connected to L1 and L2. If you are working with a three-phase drive, please refer to your installation manual for correct wiring. Once the drive is mounted and wired, you will need to determine three jumper settings. 1. What is the AC line voltage? Our standard factory jumper setting for drives with dual AC line voltage ratings is always for the maximum rating of 230 volts. For this demonstration, we will move jumper J1 from the 230 volts position to the 115 volts position. 2. What is the motor horsepower? Our standard factory jumper setting for drives with multiple horsepower ratings is always for the maximum horsepower. For this demonstration, we will move the jumper J2 to the lowest horsepower position. For drives 3 horsepower and higher, you will need to refer to figure 18 on page 17 of the installation manual. 3. What is the motor frequency? Our standard factory jumper setting for motor frequency is 60 Hz. Move jumper J5 for 50 Hz European and IEC motors only. Close the cover and power the drive. The status LED light should be yellow and the power LED light should be green. Push the start stop switch and release. The status light will start blinking green. Begin to increase the speed of the motor by turning the main speed pot clockwise. Check the motor shaft and make sure it is rotating in the correct direction. If it is not, power off the drive and reverse any of the two U, V, or W lines. You can also change the rotational direction by moving the jumper from the forward and com position to the reverse and com position. This feature is also available on drives that have the optional forward stop reverse switch installed. Just reverse the forward and reverse leads. Options are available on all KB drives. The stop start switch is standard for this drive. However, an optional power on off switch is available for disconnecting the AC line. The forward stop reverse switch is optional and provides motor reversing and stop functions. It is simple to adjust any of the drive's trim pot controls. In this demonstration, we will adjust the acceleration and deceleration of the drive. Adjust both trim pots to the minimum position by turning them counterclockwise. The motor will now operate with rapid acceleration and rapid deceleration. Adjust both trim pots to the maximum position by turning them clockwise. The motor now operates with slow acceleration and slow deceleration. Please refer to the user-friendly manual included with the drive for additional adjustments. Other options include Run Stop Jog Switch Signal Isolator with Auto Manual Switch RFI AC Line Filter Liquid Tight Fittings For more information about our products, please visit our website at www.kbelectronics.com or call our toll-free number at 1-800-221-6570.